In this video I'm going to take a look at an individual integral. It's going to be the integral of the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x plus 1 dx. Now initially when you first look at this it looks like it's going to be probably a nasty integral, um, but if we take some time to do some rewriting of this original integral, then it's going to turn out to be a straight u substitution when we get done here. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two little square roots and I'm going to write them in exponent form. So I think we'll go across to do that. So I'm going to have the integral of x to the one half and then we'll have x times x to the one half plus one all under that radical and then dx. What that's going to allow us to do is write in here when multiplying like bases I can add those exponents. So then um, let's go ahead and do it here. I'm going to have the integral of an x to the one half and then x to the three halves plus one all under that radical and then dx. Alright, so now at this point I am ready to start my u substitution. I am going to let my u be that inside function because now the inside function doesn't look that bad. Okay, so um, let's come all the way over here. Let's uh, let our u be that inside function, so u is going to equal x to the 3 halves plus 1. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, so du. Derivative there is going to be a 3 halves x to the 1 half, and then dx. And then I do want to solve for dx, so then that's going to give me a 2 thirds times du over an x to the 1 half is equal to dx. Okay, now we're going to be able to then come back to that original equation and put in our substitutions, and you're going to see that everything's going to cross out really nicely. So I'm going to have the integral, and then I'll have that x to the 1 half will still be there. I'm going to replace what's underneath there with my u, so square root of u, and replace that dx with what I said it was over here. So then times a 2 thirds du over, and I'm going to go ahead and um, leave that just like that, so I've got an x to the one half. I was thinking about putting it back in the square root, but I don't need to do that, because now then those x to the one halves are going to cross out, and I'm going to be able to pull that two thirds out in front. So I'll have a two thirds times the integral of the square root of u du. And then that is a pretty straightforward integration. Once I turn that into an exponent, it's going to integrate very easily. So I'll have a two-thirds integral of x to the one-half du. So when I integrate there, adding one, I'll have a three-halves, and I'll put that two-thirds out in front. So this two-thirds stays there. This two-thirds is from the integration, and then u to the three-halves, and then plus c. I can multiply these back together and put my u in, I think, all at the same time. So multiplying there, I would have a 4 ninths out in front, replacing u with x to the 3 halves plus 1, raised to the 3 halves, and then plus c. So overall, really just a straightforward u substitution, but before you could get to that u substitution, just a little bit of manipulation on that original equation so that it could um, easily see what that u needs to be for a u substitution. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, be sure and share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks!